Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Our topic is about identifying and describing the different kinds of quadrilaterals. From the previous lesson, we have defined quadrilaterals as closed figures with four sides. They can also be classified according to sides and angles. These are the different kinds of quadrilaterals that we will discuss. So we have parallelogram, rectangle, square, rhombus, and trapezoid. Ididiscuss natin isa-isa yung kanilang mga characteristics and ano bang itsura ng bawat isa. Okay, so let's first have or discuss the first kind of quadrilateral, which is a parallelogram. So, ano ba ang characteristics ng parallelogram? A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with opposite sides parallel and equal. So, ito yung mga dapat yung tandaan sa karakteristik ng isang parallelogram. Ang opposite sides niya ay parallel and equal. So, ganito ang itsura ng isang parallelogram. So, let's say this parallelogram is parallelogram best or BST wherein yung sides or yung measurement ng sides uh, line segment BE or sides BE ay 5 cm kung ang side side BE natin is 5 cm we can also say that ang line segment TS natin is also 5 cm so kita naman na magka uh, magkasukat sila then yung measurement naman ng kanyang longer sides ay 3 cm. So, yung side BT and side SE measures 3 cm. Therefore, we can say that line segment BE and line segment TS are parallel. Again, what is the meaning of parallel? A parallel are lines that will never meet. So, pag in-extend natin yung line segment BE and line segment TS natin, hindi sila mag-meet. And they are equal because they have the same measurement, which is 5 cm. So, let's compare the line segment BT or side BT and line segment ES. So, we can say that they are equal. Line segment BT and line segment ES are parallel and equal. Bakit sila again parallel? When we extend the line segments BT and line segment ES, kita nyo naman na hindi sila mag -meet. And they are also equal because they have the same measurement which is 3 cm. Another kind of quadrilateral is the rectangle. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. Bakit tinawag na Parallelogram ang rectangle kasi nagpo-possess din siya ng karakteristik ng isang parallelogram which are the opposite sides of the rectangle are also parallel and equal. So, ganito ang itsura ng uh, rectangle. So, as you can see, it has four angles. So, this is called rectangle KIND where in the angles K Angle I, angle N, and angle B are right angles. So, what do you mean by right angle? So, right angle exactly measures 90 degrees o nagpo-form siya ng square corner. So, let's compare the line segments KI and line segment DN. So, as you can see, ang line segment KI and line segment DN are parallel and equal. Again, parallel, kung saan pag in-extend natin yung dalawang line, they will never meet. And, tingnan din natin yung line segment KD and line segment IN, they are also equal and parallel. Kaya ngayon, tinawag na ang rectangle is also a parallelogram kasi nagpo-possess din siya ng karakteristik ng isang parallelogram. Let's proceed on another kind of quadrilateral which is the square. A square is a rectangle with four equal sides and line pairs of parallel sides. 
So, ganito ang itsura ng square. So, let's say this is square P-R-A-Y or square prig. And we can say that the line segment PR, yung sukat ng line segment PR, ay equal sa line segment AY at also equal sa line segment PY and it is also equal to line segment RA. So, pare-pareho ang haba or sukat ng mga sides ng square. We can also say that line segment PR is parallel to line segment YA. So, pag in-extend natin yung dalawang sides na yan or dalawang lines na yan, hindi sila mag -limit. And the same with line segment PY, which is also parallel to line segment RA. So, paano naman natin nasabi na ang square ay rectangle? Kasi di ba ang, ang rectangle, uh, meron siyang para ang kanyang sides ay parallel at ang kanyang angles ay puro right angle. So, same with the square. Parallel yung mga sides niya at nagpo-form din yung kanyang angle ng uh, right angle. Kaya, ang square ay isang rectangle. Pero, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na ang square ay isang parallelogram. Another quadrilateral is a rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram with four equal sides. A rhombus does not have right angles. So, tingnan natin ang itsura ng rhombus. Okay, so same siya ng square na pantay-pantay ang sukat ng kanyang mga sides. So, we can say that side or line segment HO is equal to line segment PE, equal din siya sa line segment HE, and also equal sa line segment OP. And yung kanyang mga sides ay also parallel, kagaya ng parallelogram. Kaya natin sinabi na ang rhombus ay parallelogram. Okay. So another quadrilateral is the trapezoid. So ganito ang itsura ng isang trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. So, meron lamang siyang isang pares ng parallel sides. So, alin kaya sa mga sides na to ang parallel? Okay. So, yung line segment WA and line segment MR, sila yung side na parallel lang. Dahil itong line segment WM at line segment AR ay hindi parallel. Mag-i-intersect sila. Kapag in-extend natin Yung mga line doon sa sides ng MW at uh, sides ng AR, makikita nyo or maimagine nyo na magmimit sila at exactly one point. Kaya sinabi na ang trapezoid ay may isang pares lamang ng parallel side. Okay, so, let's have this activity. Identify the following quadrilateral. So, based doon sa mga karakteristik na ating Uh, pinag-aralan, i-identify natin ang ano bang quadrilateral ang tinutukoy sa uh, statement na ito. Okay, so the first one is, it has one pair of parallel sides. So, meron lamang siyang isang pares ng parallel sides. So, anong quadrilateral iyon? Yes, it is a trapezoid. Next, it has four equal sides but have no right angle. So, meron daw siyang apat na equal ang sides, pero hindi right angle yung kanyang mga angles. So, ano kaya ang quadrilateral ito? Okay. So, it is a rhombus. Okay, next, it has four equal sides and four right angles. So, meron siyang four na pare-pareho o pantay-pantay na sukat na mga sides at ang kanyang mga angle ay right angle. So, ano kayang quadrilateral ang tinutukoy dito? Yes, it is a square. Next, the opposite sides of this quadrilateral are parallel and equal. So, anong quadrilateral ang tinutukoy kung saan ang opposite sides niya ay parallel and equal? Okay, so ito ay parallelogram. Next, it has two pairs of equal sides and four right angles. So, anong quadrilateral ang may dalawang pares ng equal sides and merong apat na right angles? 
Okay, so it is a rectangle. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.